Shout out to them for advertising a closed beta. I personally didn't think anybody played these games before they released them. That's pretty neat. Hello there, welcome back to the F1 23 My Team Career Mode. We're going back to China today. But first, we have a marketing department problem issue thing. Hello? Oh, damn it. Are you kidding? The last time I did this, I selected no comment because it gave me... What button is it? Is that one? Who was the three it gave me? I remember Lewis Hamilton being one of them. I'll give it to the game. Because Red Bull is actually mid-pack for some reason. They're not... Well... Max Verstappen isn't three tenths quicker than P2 and then on down. But still, I... I no comment. Let's give me a rival. I, why do I... Why do I gotta choose it? Well, let's give you an updated look at the point standings. We're three down. Lando Norris and the McLaren leads the way. The driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton, P2. Followed by Alonso in third, tied with Perez. Oscar Piastri in the McLaren, Verstappen in the Red Bull, and then it's the two Ferraris, George Russell, and us. We scammed our 10 points, so I don't, we don't really belong up in there, but there we are. On down, Alexander Alba on the last to score with two for the Haas. So a lot of folks who have got goose eggs up in there. We'll see if anybody can claim some points in China. So next up, we'll give you a look at the development. We've managed to move out of the last two spots, right? You know, we're, we're a good chunk ahead of Alpha Tari now, and I get mad anytime I'm, <laughs> they're close to us on the grid. Uh, Alpha Romeo again, they're actually a chunk ahead of Alpha Tari, but still a chunk behind us. So now, our true pace is just a little bit behind Haas, but as you can see, we've got a lot of upgrades in the works. Minor weight redistribution upgrade, uh, engine recovery system ERS. Uh, I, I almost don't even think I need that, but I'm excited to get it just because well, might as well make the ERS even better. It's actually really, really good at this point. I can use it all the time. I'll use it more. And we got a major drag reduction upgrade. Will that do it? I don't know. We definitely need more, though. And I think it needs to be in the chassis. I honestly think, like, the car is pretty well-rounded. I, I still, my focus has been on the engine power like usual, but I feel like this year more than ever, I've felt the chassis and just how bad it is. We can get a, no, I can't. That's 1,500. I'm gonna need a bigger discount on that. You get a tire wear upgrade. But yeah, I, I got this upgrade and I thought it'd be a major one. It is not major, but it is uh, weight redistribution. Hopefully that will help a little bit. Oh, we got one day left on this uh, drag reduction upgrade. Hopefully we will get that. We're gonna need more points. Oh, durability, we got something there, wow. I'd say we need to work on this, but I mean, <laughs> do we? I just wanna go fast. If I, I mean, I'm. It's like programmed, it's RNG, I'm gonna probably blow up once or twice at least anyways. How about 4.39 million? Can I get a facility upgrade? Our analysis suite still hasn't come in yet, so that's gonna give us a boost to our man Logan. I'm really glad I found us on this screen, because uh, Aston Martin released some sort of new fancy simulator, and that shit cracked me up knowing the simulator you start off with in this game. <laughs> yeah, no wonder we fucking suck. I got the, I mean, the time has finally come. I might as well get a pit stop upgrade. $800,000 for the promise that our pit stop performance will be slightly improved. I mean, how? Are we gonna get better people? Are we gonna get better guns? Are we gonna get, are we just gonna fire the one guy who puts the right front on because he just can't do it every other stop? Like, I don't get it. Sure, we'll take it though. Four days after that one. All right, we'll go ahead and advance and see what happens. Oh, we got an upgrade, and we got our sweet durability equipment upgrade. We got simulator training for our man Logan. More stuff, and oh man, ERS cooling. Okay, the new parts, how exciting! How are we not ahead of Williams? I mean, how aren't we? I mean, I guess we're like dead even, even with Alpine and Haas. It looks like it. Either way, we should be we should be probably leaping up two or three teams here relatively soon ers cooling there it is oh and a supplier upgrade lightweight pistons we got pistons now they're lightweight wow so we have one unknown ers upgrade left i guess engine power oh i can get more i can get more that is tempting don't tempt me with engine power i think we really need to go chassis though i think i mean only three percent upgrade it needs to be done is this major it is major it's gonna take three GPs, but god damn it. I mean, look how bad we are. Like, we're bad. I know that. That'll at least give us a chunk. But it's like, in those two, three races, everybody else is gonna be, uh, you know, upgraded more by then, probably. I don't know. Either way, that'll be two upgrades. A major and a minor. 
We definitely need them in the chassis department. This thing is a refrigerator. And last but not least, we got to give you an updated look at uh, Logan and his stats. 78 overall. Okay, okay. Um, I don't... Yeah, what were we supposed to boost with that? Analysis is sweet, right? Uh, second driver experience. Are you telling me it put it up one? <laughs> I think it did put it up one. Or, did it, or was it was it plus five already? I don't know what it was. Either way, he's got 94. Focus, a little happy face. Let me guess. Everybody else is uh, at 99, 99, 91, 99, 97, 95, 99, 98, 96, 97. Is anybody below 90? Yeah, Lance Stroll. Typical. Anybody else? Liam Lawson's 90. And Teo Porsche does not have a F1 ride. Great feature. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the return of China. The Chinese Grand Prix then is upon us once again. It's a race that saw Michael Schumacher claim his final Formula One victory in 2006, as well as Red Bull's first win with Sebastian Vettel in 2009. There's no doubt there's plenty more drama to come here in Shanghai. The ever-tightening turns of one and two will prove tricky in the slippery conditions here in Shanghai, and anyone that slides wide will lose a lot of time getting back on track. Turn 14 should still be the best place for overtaking, but we'll have to see some improvements the weather before the drivers can take advantage of that DRS assistance. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Hamilton, Fernando Alonso, Sainz, Leclerc, Verstappen, Perez, Stroll, Liam Lawson, Gasly, Albon, Joe, Russell, Magnussen, Ocon, Sargent, Wang, Bottas, Vesti, Sonoda, and Nick De Vries. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. All right, here we go. Uh, we're slow. <laughs> this may or may not be another OP track for the AI. I'm not sure. It's been, I mean, a long time since we've done China. I felt like not a lot has changed because I still lose the same amount of time in the same parts of the track that seemed like to the AI. There's, there's a couple things I don't agree with. First off, I'll give it to Guan Yu Zhou because he gets home field advantage. But that Alfa Romeo is worse than our car. How is he getting six, seven more tenths than us? My next question, Oscar Piastri, in every session I actually did that I completed, he was six tenths faster than every single car in the field. How? Even his teammate, Lando in the McLaren. I didn't make it to Q2, obviously. All those sessions past that, it seemed to sim fine, where he wasn't just so much faster. Oh, uh, who else? Was it the Williams that were all, so, like, they were, like, I, I'd expect us to probably be about a second, a little past that off. But we're like, again, two seconds off. Logan probably shouldn't be close to me, but here he is again. The Alpha Taris are like two and a half to three seconds off. All right, cool. But like, the Haas are like a second, seven tenths to a second faster than us. And we're like directly in line with them by performance. What gives, game? What gives? And then who was it? The Williams that we're even with. They're like a half second, if not a second, faster than us. Ridiculous. I, like, what's the point? By the way, we got our work cut out for us today. Uh, we're in the heavy rain, uh, so I threw a bit more downforce in it, probably than usual. Uh, hoping, because it, it is going to be rain most of the race. I hope that'll help, because uh, we can't find speed any other way, it seems. Front end, very bad around here. Uh, I don't know how it's going to handle in the rain. Didn't drain a single drop through any of the other sessions, so um, I, we'll stop at some point, I guess, uh, especially if it dries out when that'll be. Who knows? I knew the next race I did would have to, it, it would just have to rain just because I've been doing the iRacing rain. Just so I could feel how dumb and shitty and gross it is. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I never expect this rain to be anywhere kind of close to what iRacing's done with their rain, uh, which iRacing's done a phenomenal job with rain. If you haven't heard about that or tried it yet, man, now is the time. But they've had rain in these games for a long time. About as long as I can remember. I started, what, F1 2016? They had rain in those games, I'm pretty sure. 
2016 was also a long time ago. Um, and I, I, like, personally, I don't think I can think of anything performance-wise that they have done to change the ring to make it any less stupid. Yes, the track appears to be wet. Yes, raindrops come down. The car slides a little bit more until it doesn't, I guess, you know? Cool. Yeah, any dry line improvement, go fuck yourself. Uh, any, like, dry to wet, wet to dry, fuck yourself. Nah. Come on, Logan. Let's go, buddy. Oh, that's a quick one. I was not ready. I'm still sliding. Hold on. Oh, we're going. I should have thrown it the hell in there. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. All right. Yeah, I get it. Just crawling. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I should have went in. Man, I wish I could roll. This is where I lose all my time. This is where I lost all my time, whatever year. Last, the last time I ran this, nothing's changed. But I mean, this car is, is especially really bad. And the front end just does not do front end things most of the time. And so I'm thankful for the rain, because we are going to have to do some dry laps probably at some point. Those are going to be gross. Nah, just getting that wide arc. Uh, hello. Uh, if I could turn in that last corner, boy, we <laughs> go a little faster, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we're, we're still really good on the straightaways, it seems like. One seconds. If you think you can get past, make use of the overtake button. Brother, I am eight tenths off. I'm like slowly just starting to catch him because I'm figuring it out. If I think I can pass him, I'm going to try it. Oh, yeah, about did it. Okay, the incident's been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Uh, Come on. I guess. Frederick Vesti, we'll be seeing you, Frederick. Okay, oh, flag, put it red, out. Red flag. No overtaking, please. We'll see you in what the did he lane. do? Oh, bonk. Sweet, I can go take a piss. Red flag. Huge incident. He probably just blew up. Play this Alrighty, well, we're riding on board with uh, Frederick Vesti. Trying to figure out what happened here to cause a red flag going down the long straightaway. The action cam. Uh, well, that ain't good. Looks like he done blew it up. Oh, action cam. All right. Well, he just pulled off. Yeah, that was a red flag. All right. Well, it looks like intermediates it is. Oh, I got to be ready because this, sh this shit just throws you right back in there. All right, here we go. Uh, 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 I'm ready, track. I'm ready. Let's make the best of this restart. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if I need a whole nother formation lap, but man, I got a better one this time. Ooh. This is the word, dude. In the dry, this is how I knew how bad the car was. I'd never had such a problem turning back around this section of the track. Honestly, really used to love this part of the track, especially when the car was hooked up and was turning good. And that, that is not this car, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we got, we got grip. Rain. Oh, pardon. That's Max for stamping. What are you doing back here, son? Oh, they're racing. There we go. Keep on doing that, boys. I'm too slow to keep up. Yeah. No, all right. Whatever that was. There it goes. Oh. And all, I mean, literally all it's got to turn down here. Oh my God, that's got to run. Alright. Oh, because my ERS is locked. 
Why is it locked? Unlock it! We just had a fault last week. Hello? Oh, it's back now. Cool. And literally just to lose a spot to Lance Stroll again. Like, what's the point? The game got a chubby for Lance or what? Like, I don't understand it. Let me live. Oh, that's what you gotta do. Just gotta hug that curb. That's where the grip is in the rain. That would be a good opportunity for this game to, like, make more natural wrecks, especially for racing in the rain. Just have the AI curb it every once in a while and just... I don't know, eat shit, go spitting like a top, wildly, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine the game being fun. I don't think the line is really dry enough yet to start thinking about six. Bro, it's still raining! What are you talking about? It's raining and the track is wet. Oh, I own six, I shut your mouth. Get past, make use of the overtake button. Let's see what you can do. Bro, why are you talking to me like I'm a fucking idiot? That's my next ask for these games. Like, I'm alright with the audio cues for like the first year or whatever. Alright, cool. But like, heaven forbid they actually put together a game worth the shit. And I like say I played through five seasons of it. I become an F1 world champion at that point. And like you still go out there on race weekends and like the engineer talks to you like you're a fucking idiot. First first day of driving an F1 car. Thanks. Yeah, run we get off the top. Oh, we're picking up. The track ain't getting more wet. But it ain't dry yet. Yeah, for whatever reason, like the light rain is what I'm the best at, I don't know. Now I'm starting to move. But it's not gonna stay like this. And we're gonna have to go a long ways. In the dry, I'm afraid. Uh, hopefully, we're not too slow there. So this is ideally where I like to be, fighting for points, not too terribly far away from it, but definitely do it. Uh oh, right, Liam fucked it a little bit there. Um, yeah, we're doing doing all right. I just I'm worried because, like I said, rain's usually a great equalizer for me, especially. We're just like really slow for some reason for a week, which I feel like this is one of them weeks. But again, at least we got some rain, we got some blocking. These guys have been going at it this whole run. Oh, it's starting to turn. Whoa, bonk. Uh oh, dear. That's a nip, man. I love how it's just like all in one go. How the fuck am I supposed to? That's not the button. All right, looks like we're going on the mediums to the end. Can we do that? Ah, oh, I want the hearts. I want the hearts. But I'd rather make sure I can 100% make it. And if I, I mean, I'm gonna be fucking slow anyways. Put the hearts on it. Okay, you've got a full okay. caution. The safety car's out. Keep an eye on the Delta. That was a good time for that. So I found the reason for the safety car. It is the hometown kid, Guan Yu Zhou. Gets down here and, uh... Fucks it. And then, you know, Logan Sargent. I mean, what what could you possibly do in this situation but drive through him? I know. This is this is a safety car. Everybody's going straight into pit road. I wonder if anybody missed. Come on. I hope this man, they're double stacking. Could not be me. Where the fuck is Logan even? Logan's coming in for a stop now. Okay, he's back here somewhere. Dicks. Everybody's on the mediums, I think. <laughs> Does anybody happen to know if I got that pit upgrade for this race? Or is it coming in the next race? So again, you know, I... I, I never really expected this game to go crazy with the rain and have it, you know, simulation, realistic, like like I seen kind of put out. But in like six years, I at least expected them to make it a little bit more entertaining and or fun, you know, with the transition from wet to dry track or literally anything involved with wet racing or racing in the wet. 
silly me to think they would ever try or do anything different or make it better or, you know, add to it. Because the track literally dries out in like two fucking laps. The game decided uh, in its ones and zeros that the rain was now finished. It flips off and immediately goes, oop, DRS enabled, and then the track dries out in a lap. It's been like that for at least the My Team era, which is, what, four years now? Just because it's in the game doesn't mean it's fun. It was pretty interesting. The safety car came out right around that time, but... Oh, there, there went somebody. Ah, uh, maybe two cars missed. Yeah, they're still on the intermediates. Oh, Guan Yu. The Alpine car. That puts us to 12. I was wondering who I lost my spots to. Uh, Mercedes car's up there. Looks like we got a uh, Aston Martin P2. That would be a... Uh, Fred, because it sure as shit ain't Lance Stroll, I see Lance. I would assume also the leader is Oscar. If anybody probably deserves to win the race, like I said, it's Oscar. He was like six tenths. I've never seen anything like it. And again, it had to be something with the simming of the AI that he didn't get pulled by six tenths. But I've never seen a car in these games go that much faster, really, than everybody every session. And like, not only faster than everybody, but faster than his teammate. Like, you'd think Lando would be somewhere close. Right, what? Pick up the pace. Okay, information on Bottas. Okay. You seem to have an issue. Some information behind you. Slow car behind okay, you is more slow. <laughs> Thank you. This game drives me nuts. Tires instantly go cold. And I can't fucking go because it takes the road in my throttle pedal. I'd be sitting there trying to jump it anyway. I'm still going to try to jump it. It's like that seems impossible. I wonder why. <laughs> Under caution, man. All right, woo. I figure I had to dry, uh, drive in the dry again. Some information on Sergeant. They've got some kind of mechanical <laughs> problem. Is that right? Well, this is gonna be a tough, tough road up in the top ten. Max behind us. Uh, maybe it could get gasly, but. Mercedes, we got a Ferrari not too far up the way. I know Lance is quicker than me. And it is dry tire time. If I could get in a DRS train, that would be fun, because that's one thing we can keep up with. I threw some extra downforce in it for the rain, and it still felt like I could have probably put more in it based off our straightaway speed. But we're flying, still. Hello. I mean, if you're going to leave it open, I'm going to go in there. Okay, good work. Great pass. Thanks. I really, I just gotta chonk the curb to make it turn. <laughs> Those are all the grippers. Even the dry. I will say, I actually feel better than I thought I would in the hearts already. Maybe it's just because we've started in the heavy rain and I just didn't have any grip to begin with, but... Okay, gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. Oh! You watch yourself. Max Verstappen had the discipline not to fucking... Almost wiped me out. Not the Alpine. Oh, and I got stuck on the fucking curb. Take his three, Max. No, oh, he did too. Or no, he didn't. No balls. Oh, yeah, there it is. Balls. Anyway, I can dunk on the Alpine car. Go fuck yourself. Oh, he turned him. Oh, he almost did. He almost did. All right. Run away. <laughs> Fuck your track limits. Okay, the stewards have now enabled. Thought I got a penalty there. No, I'm good. I'm so slow. They're just gonna catch me back. I'm not gonna be able to catch the next group because they're too fast and they're draft trained away. Damn! Alright, I lose three tenths to the same fucking sector every time. It's just that real that that string of corners. I just don't have the turn. I just don't have it. It's not there, it's not present. I can try, I can do my best. Three tenths every time at least. And then it ends up being another three tenths when I come out that big stupid fucking corner. I'm first man out of the points, man. I need somebody else to die. Oh, I'm gonna see my, my errors. Come on and get it, Pierre. We're gonna have a three car scrap for P11. First man out of the points, can't wait. We got two Haas cars back there. I'm pretty happy I'm, I'm in front of the Haas. I was not happy I was behind the Haas and Quali, I'll tell you that. Pierre's fucking rolling though. Let's hope I can keep with him. Oh, here we go. Oh, 
Yeah, I was I was definitely intended on putting it back in there. My fault. Doing shit like that, that was gonna bring us right back into into our, our little group. Now we're alright. I'm also hoping these hards are gonna kick in at some point and then, uh, you know we're just gonna be cruising. I might have ruined Pierre's mediums. I don't know about Max's, he already looked a little slower. This section right here, man, I just like all like everything I, I can to get the front end to turn. That was the first time I went up and over the curves, I just plowed so damn bad. I figured that would be faster. I'm getting stuck on the stupid curb. And that's something like, I don't feel like I'm too slow, but I, I still like the front end just carries so long. It takes forever to change back position. Or get it back turned and then drive down off the hill. But at least we can drive fast! Down the straightaway. And go ahead. I'll lose both of them. Yes, please park it right in front. Get, get, get your shit in. Yeah, that's what's gonna, that's what's gonna happen when you park it in front of me. At least I got a little, a little saved up this time around. One hot car dick. I uh, guess that's Albon, if I had to guess. I don't know. Come on, here he comes. At least I know I can defend pretty, probably pretty well. Oh, you gonna, I, that's not really, I'm not, not a whole lot I can do. Pulling up in front of me like that. Should have gotten this in. Can I get him back in this amount of distance? I don't think I can because I didn't get a run worth of shit off the corner, but oh my god, here he comes. Ooh. Clear? Don't push him up. I don't have the turn through here. Ooh, maybe I do. Let's hear it for the hards. That one definitely brought back the Haas. Okay, the car ahead, seven seconds up the road on you. Cool, man. Like, I don't care. What do you want me to do with that information? Just drive, se uh, pull seven seconds out of my rear end and apply it in the last five laps and catch some things, man. All right. Just like that, I think the hearts have finally kicked in, even though Max is still going to get me. I have started pulling on the guys in front of us, maybe because they're racing, but definitely feel it a little bit. All of a sudden, I do got a little bit more out of the corners. I just have more grip, it seems like. Should be able to get them back all in one go here. Yep, man, this thing sucks well. All right, tires. Let's go. Boy, if only I had another 10 laps. How many laps did it take me to drive up there? I mean, they're not pulling away from me anymore, so that, that leads me to believe that, again, my tires have finally, you know, come around to being better than the mediums at this point. Oh, brother. Uh-huh. Anyways, like, this just literally doesn't happen in some of the other tracks. So why doesn't it? I don't know. Take hearts, some of the tracks, it's like... They never kick in. Take the mediums. The AI will take the mediums just as far. It won't fall off. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, hey, we'll get you on the next one, buddy. Why'd that pop up? I don't... I didn't ask for that. Oh, that's gonna be late. Alright. Got just a little bit more. And proceeds to fucking three, four tenths of me in the one section of the track I'm just horrible at. I guess. I don't understand how the AI get through there that fast. Yeah, fuck my DRS. He rode behind me that whole time. Pulls out fucking how far? Over a second in that one half of track. Unreal. Put it out. Where's Lance going? Put it out. Green flag. Green flag. We're racing again. Uh, of course. Yeah, okay, that fucking course. Final lap of the race. Final lap. 
Ah, it's fucking typical. That would have that would have been it. That would have been the spot for point. But no, fucking Mac Verstappen rides around fucking ass all day and just out of his rear end pulls two seconds. Where was it? Where was it? On the mediums too. Never mind. Tire wear doesn't mean shit again. Just literally just when I thought I, I was like, oh, the tires are coming around for me. Woo, lucky me, uh, oh, silly me, dumbass me. I get he's in a fucking Red Bull. What did he fucking do? Why was he behind me in the first place? Why is he so fucking slow? I fucking no problems this time around. It's only this one section of the track. I don't understand it. My car does not have the turn to replicate what they do. And the amount of speed they take. All right, Gasly, you fuck. Every last goddamn little bit of ERS I got, Fernando Alonso won the race. Fuck. Ah, oh, pissed. I wasn't getting points anyways. Penalizing, I don't care. Aston Martin deserved a win today, and they got it. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, time and honestly, not a bad run. Quite a large role in the outcome of this one. But ever, like this, this game's true fashion. It's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint. <laughs> just tempts points and then just rips it away so from me because this game's an asshole. This game's such an asshole. Well, look at the finishing results. How about Fernando Alonso by uh, nearly half a second? That's got to be one of the closest F1 finishes of all time. My goodness. With the fastest lap, it's a max points day. He should be retired. Now I see why he didn't. Oscar Piastri, honestly, the real throw of the weekend. How you six tenths quicker than the entire field and still don't win? I don't know. P2 for him. It's Lewis Hamilton, P3 to round out your podium. Once again, it looks like we were, what, two seconds off? Which, again, is still pretty impressive to me. Um, we beat both the Haas cars. I'm, I'm happy with that. Honestly, I did not think I'd finish this high. So I'm, I'm pretty salty I missed out on points because I had Verstappen covered until he literally was just like, fuck you and left. Took his free point. Good. I hope you enjoy it. Logan had car problems, even if he didn't, like, car problems and still beat Nick DeVries. Valtteri Bottas, Bottas had some problems, some car problems too. Um, F1 games still managed to have our two little DNFs, but at least one of them resulted in a red flag or something different, so that's always exciting. Um... There you have it. I suggest we start looking for opportunities to spend with that profit margin. Bitch, I'll let you know when I got $11 million spare so I can buy a new facility upgrade. I'd love to. I'd love to. Oh, I only get 200 resource points for this fault? Okay. Well, we go to Baku next. That's always fun. Let's give you a look at the updated point standings. Lando Norris by eight over Lewis Hamilton. Alonzo P3. Oscar P4. Uh, nothing really changed for us. Uh, Liam Lawson got another two points. And uh, Albon still last P14 with point scores. Oh, so now we're apparently ahead of Williams and ahead of Alpine. But we're not ahead of Haas. How? And once we get past Haas, the next team in front of us is Ferrari. I don't think I've seen Ferrari this entire my team mode season. Or first season. Like, we're just ass. Vehicle performance comparison. I've never seen something more skewed, something that blatantly lied more than this graph. Whatever you say. Uh, we're still, geez, that's May. We're still at the end of April. We'll get there eventually. Alrighty, well, there y'all have it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We'll be back with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix in the next episode.